Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, you are going to learn how to think in English. If you're struggling to speak in English, if you're struggling to think in English, so this is the right video for you guys. So watch till the end, you will learn how to think in English. First of all, if I say about myself, I'm not a native speaker, but I think in English. English has become a part of my life. I wake up listening to BBC radio. I read Metro News. I use English every day at work and in my studies. I chat with my friends and boyfriend in English. I watch English movies and even I dream in English. Can you believe it? Before you speak, thinking in a foreign language is essential. It increases fluency and allows you to connect with people from different cultural backgrounds. You don't necessarily need to move to an English-speaking country, but putting your brain in English-only mode will definitely help. Okay, here are some tips that helped me. First one, don't use a bilingual dictionary. I remember spending hours looking my words and definitions in an English-only dictionary. I prefer to use paper dictionaries as it helps me memorize words better. When I search for a word, turning page of the page, you naturally repeat it in your head. But the time you find the meaning, you remember the word. So don't use bilingual dictionaries to find out the meanings of the English words. Second tip, learn vocabulary in phrases, not single words. Our brains are pattern matching machines that remember things put into context. If I can't come up with any context example, I check out Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary or Google it. Third tip, start using the vocabulary as soon as possible. Never stop yourself from speaking until your language is perfect. You will be waiting forever. I'm always trying to take initiative even if I am really scared because practice makes perfect. As soon as I had an opportunity, I volunteered for an English college newspaper writing articles and interviewing different people. It was really hard at the beginning and it took me a long time to write a draft. After seven months of volunteering experience and publishing with the Sri Lankan University Press, the newspaper decided to hire me as their staff reporter. Amazing, right? So you can also do that. The fourth tip, talk to yourself in English. When I was learning English, and I still do it, I would describe to myself whatever happening during the day. This gives you extra practice before you start explaining things to other people. Tip 5. Get an English speaker friend or partner. It will always be easier to improve English with a companion, especially if he or she is a native speaker. I noticed a dramatic improvement when I moved in with my boyfriend. Regular chats in person over the phone or text messages and other common activities brought me to the next level and I stopped talking to myself. Tip number six, travel. I used every opportunity to travel to English-speaking countries. I have met numerous people in my travels and uh, try to keep in touch with them even after my trips. Facebook, WhatsApp, Viber and emails definitely help. The biggest challenge is dealing with the frustration that comes with not being able to fully express yourself. The key is to think positively and stay motivated. Use these six tips and improve your English.